Hello guys, this is a pick a deck reading to see who is this person and how they feel about you, okay? So it's going to be called pick a deck, how do they feel about you? <clears throat> this would be deck one, deck two, and deck three. So we have the citrine here, and we have the aquamarine here, and we have the amethyst here. So you guys choose which deck. You could do a time stamp. Um, if I can remember to do a timestamp, I will do that for you guys for each of the decks. Um, you can choose one deck, you can choose two decks, or you can choose all three. I myself will probably choose one or two. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So this again would be deck one with the citrine, deck two with the aquamarine, and then deck three with the amethyst amethyst okay so I'm gonna put move these aside over here you guys can still see those in view of the camera we're gonna get started with deck one shame on me but I can't remember um, all of the decks I think I forget what this one and this one is but this is the I feel like the everyday enchantment hero deck Okay, this is a fairly new one for me, and this one is two. I've never used this one, but I have used this one. So anyway, let's see. How do they feel about you? How does this person feel about you? These cards are sliding everywhere, and you see how stiff they are. So, <clears throat> how do they feel about you? How do they feel? How do they feel? Please show me how this person feels. Please show me. Deck one. You can assert the name of the person that you are thinking about. How do they feel about you? How do they feel? We have the Son of Earth, which is the Knight of pentacles here. This person thinks of you as being very practical. They feel like you guys are not ones to make sudden moves or make sudden decisions that whatever it is that you do, you tend to plan out um, uh, your life. Okay. Now, this person I feel this is disappointment. This person is disappointed. Okay? They feel like um, they have some regrets regarding you guys here. Maybe this person also feels like, you know, they didn't make a move when they had the chance to. Okay? So they definitely have some disappointment where you guys are concerned. This is the Five of Cups energy, so there there are a lot of hurt. There's a lot of hurt and regrets and feeling like there's been a missed opportunity with you guys here. Um, we have Earth and we have um, Scorpio energy. Okay, <clears throat> and then we have the Two of Pentacles here. Um, this person has a lot that they are dealing with, a lot on their plate. They're trying to get their priorities in check. This person feels like you guys are, you don't have any more room in your life for them. You don't have any more time for them. That things have um, definitely changed with you. You guys have changed, okay? And then we have the Eight of Wands that you've moved on. There's a lot of change. They feel like um, you guys are progressing in your life and you're leaving them behind. They have a lot of regrets about not acting when they had an opportunity to. This is definitely um, somebody who feels like they've missed an opportunity with you guys here. Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and I feel Taurus is here. Okay. 
and then we have the eight of pentacles right here circumspection hmm. this person is lost in their thoughts I feel um, they try to cover up their sadness with throwing themselves into work and um, just finding other things to concentrate on here this more than likely is somebody that has a lot of earth in their chart I feel um, they they are not comfortable with emotional like exchange for real okay <clears throat> Then you have a star. They were confused about what you guys meant to them, um, how important you were to them. Right now, this person feels like you are so out of their reach that you're far away from them. But the, this person now feels like you are their soulmate. But they feel like their opportunity to pursue it with you guys has passed. It's gone. Is how um, this person is feeling right now. I'm feeling very, not really lonely, but a feeling that, a feeling of, um, not like they're going to fall into depression, but more so that, you know, they may fall for someone else if you guys don't get back with them. But it will never be the same as what I'm hearing because you were the one that got away. <clears throat> you were definitely the one that um, got away. And they feel like right now you guys are just out of their league. And then we have a higher fence. They feel like some of you may have moved on and are in uh, other relationships. That you're committed. That you have your standards. Um, that you want something very traditional. And you're not settling for anything less than that, okay? For sure. This person you may have been married to um, yourself. I can definitely see that if they have the chance, this person definitely would commit to you, okay? And then we have the Ten of Wands. This is really bothering this person, their thoughts. Um, what could have been, what actually did happen. You know, the fact that they did not pursue you, their regrets are weighing on them. Definitely. Shit. <laughs> and then we have the Three of Cups. They feel like you're happy. They feel like... Um, you know, you're, you're just a well-rounded person at this point. Maybe when you guys were together, this person had a different view of you. But they feel like, um, you know, you guys are at a different point in your lives. And you've changed. And you're happy. And you know yourself. You know your worth. You're moving forward with your life. And um, they feel like there's no hope of them getting back with you or you guys reuniting, hanging out, having a drink, dating, anything of that sort. I feel like this person uh, feels hopeless when it comes to getting back with you guys. Some of you have somebody here that knows exactly what they lost. Okay. <clears throat> but they don't know how to fix it. They feel like even though you're their soulmate, that they fucked up. Okay. And then we have the Nine of Wands here. Hmm. This person is, you know, they go from the Ten of Wands getting ready, you know, just feeling overwhelmed and carrying a lot on their plate to, you know, just <laughs> wanting to start over. But it's like they're falling back here to the Nine of Wands. And um, there's something in them, I feel, that kind of give them, gives them hope. And makes them feel like 
maybe you guys can be but I feel like this is only on a good day when they feel like like today this person may feel like okay well maybe it's not over maybe maybe I should not give up the fight because after all this is my soulmate but tomorrow it may not be that way it may be that this person actually wants to give up and feels like there is absolutely no chance in hell that you will give them another chance okay so Sagittarius um, Cancer Taurus Aquarius <clears throat> um, strong Taurus in your reading for sure okay uh, Scorpio is here Capricorn is here okay but we also have like the eight the nine and the ten I feel like this person's getting more anxious by the day so even if they feel like there's no chance in hell I feel like eventually this person is going to reach out to you because they feel so very strongly that you guys are their soulmate all right guys so that is deck one for you guys let me pull these cards up and we will jump right into deck two so i'm going to take a moment and just write down um i think the other one started at like two minutes and then this one's going to start at probably 11 30 something and i'll leave that open all right guys so for those of you who picked deck two Again, I don't know what this is called. So, how does, and you insert the name, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? Who is this and how do they feel about you? How do they feel? Let's see. How do they feel? We have the emperor. This person feels like you're very strong and you are um, kind of stubborn. That you like to like for people to come towards you and not the other way around. Um, once you make up your mind about something, it's kind of like set in stone. This could be definitely this is a card of Aries. It could also be a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and or Scorpio um, energy here fixed sign that um you know no matter what you do once they decide upon something you know that's it there's no changing their mind so let's see we have a king of wands aries leo they feel like you guys are very very attractive they feel like you have control of your life they feel like you guys are the king of kings you have mastered your emotions you have mastered your time you have mastered your your thoughts you have mastered what you actually will pursue and do okay they feel like you guys have it all basically you can do whatever the hell you want to and um, yeah like you guys just have it going on <clears throat> and then we have eight of wands a lot of fire here Sagittarius energy okay this person feels like you guys are definitely forward moving that um, you've changed a lot they feel like you have a nice balance of um, feminine and masculine energy okay also it's like whenever you set your mind to something again that fixed energy wh whatever you set your mind to you will accomplish that this person wants to reach out to you but they feel like you know maybe you've gotten so far away from them or you know you're so I don't want to say above them but they almost feel like you guys are out of their league in a sense okay <clears throat> you have the eight of cups oh okay 
huh they felt like you guys were not happy with them you weren't happy with them that you weren't emotionally fulfilled by them that you wanted to leave me with something that you was inevitable okay you leaving them was inevitable or them leaving you was inevitable and if they left you if this person left you it's because they almost felt inferior okay so if this person left you it wasn't you I feel it was more so them and their um, inferiority complex in relation to you okay Piscean energy two of cups they love you <laughs> for damn sure um, this could be a same-sex relationship for sure but um, does not have to be for some of you it is definitely a same-sex relationship okay but never nevertheless whoever this is they love you guys they feel like you guys are soulmates you belong together okay they want to tell you that they have something that they want to um, share with you they want to share their emotions with you some of these people want to um, propose or or make an offer of um, getting back together having a date uh, a gift but this is something on an emotional level they have a lot of emotions their emotions are overflowing right now whoever this is okay they want to tell you that they love you if they don't want to propose this person wants you to know how they feel about you okay this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and energy, okay? And then we have the sun that you make them happy. I feel like somebody, I feel like for a lot of you, this person walked away from you. But now they realize that because they felt like you guys were going to walk away from them, it's almost like they walked away from you before you could walk away from them that kind of situation and this person is realizing that they fucked up that um, you make them happy they want to let you know that you make them happy that they want to be with you uh, they want to come back okay because their life has not been the same without you guys strong message here Leo energy <clears throat> Ace of Cups. Look at this shit. They want to get back. They want to get back. They want to offer you their love. Even if you guys have not been together in a while, this person is wanting to take the chance of really exposing themselves and wearing their heart on their sleeve to offer their love to you. Regardless of what the consequences may be, what the turnout may be, whether you tell them that you don't want to be with them or not, this person feels like they have to do this, okay? Ace of Swords, they have to tell you the truth. They have to. Have to tell you exactly what you mean to them. Look at this. They choose you. They want to be with you. This person loves you. Gemini energy here. This person loves you. For whoever picked number two, this person loves you. Trust and believe. Okay? I feel like this person was intimidated by you guys here. Okay? So, that is deck number two. This is truly... Um, somebody that made a mistake scared of rejection felt like maybe you guys were too good for them but when they were with you they probably made you feel like they were too good for you okay this is that type of individual but that was like um, a defense mechanism whatever whatever went on between you guys whatever transpired okay so 
that is deck number two. And we're going to move on to deck number three. So we're starting at maybe, mm, let's see, 20, 20 something. Okay. So deck number three with this deck that I have not used before. It's a weird looking little deck, but I was intrigued by it. So, and it's huge. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who picked deck number three, who is this person and how do they feel about you? Who is this person and how do they feel about you? How do they feel? How do they feel? Very awkward deck. You can see I'm shuffling sideways. It's big. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. How do they feel? started how do they feel all right guys how do they feel okay ten of wands <laughs> this person is pulling their hair out I feel like over you guys um they, they just have a lot on their plate. They feel like you guys have a lot on your plate. They feel like you're very busy. Um, maybe they feel like you guys are all over the place, that you need some kind of organization, or they need some kind of organization in their life with that Ten of Wands energy. Looking frantic, okay? Sagittarius energy. Two of coins, yeah, some sort of organization. I feel like you guys, um, there's a lot that you take on yourself and you don't share the responsibility. You have a lot of priorities that you are um, trying to basically keep in check here, trying to keep a balance over. We have Sagittarius Capricorn energy here. They feel like you guys work very, very hard for the money. So they may feel like you guys, you know, you concentrate more on your career and your finances. Um, also that I feel like for some, some reason I'm hearing like people pleasing. Okay. And then we, I think I pulled two cards out here. So the first one I saw was the three of coins. Yeah. I think what this is, is you guys dive into whatever it is that you're doing. You give it 200%, not 100%, and like you wear yourselves out. But you try to balance it most of the time, and most of the time you are able to. You are able to, but they feel like you sacrifice yourself for other people. Okay, you, you, it's almost like um, putting other people before yourself. You compromise a lot, but you are very good at working with other people, though. That's the thing. Like, you guys are very, very hard workers. And then we have the Queen of Wands here. This is what the Queen of Wands does. She takes care of herself, she takes care of her family, she takes care of her co-workers, anybody that's in this person's circle, they look out for them. And sometimes to their own detriment. So this person feels like you guys are basically a champion for the underdog, okay? You're always looking out for other people, doing things for other people. They feel like you guys are very, very attractive. Um, and they feel like you're good at what you do. They just feel like sometimes you need to take a break. You need to take a time out, okay? Because if you don't, 
things can definitely get off balance here with this two of coins energy okay if things could go like haywire so they feel like maybe you guys need to get you know maybe kind of skin down what you consider to be priorities maybe they're not priorities for real but you're putting them as priorities and it's tiring you out okay so they feel like you need to take a break take a vacation you work really really hard wherever this is okay Let's see. Now these cards stuck together yeah like that. then we have the moon Huh, there's something that they feel like you guys are keeping from them. Hmm. There's something very mysterious about you. It's like they know just from knowing you that you are a very hard worker. But I feel like there's something, they don't know exactly what you're doing. This person has very deep feelings for you and they really do not know how to navigate through those feelings. Cancerian um, energy here. Move this out of the way so I can pick up this card. <clears throat> then we have the four of wands. Another Aries energy. Huh. This person, wow. They feel like you're happy. They feel like there's there's some envy here, I feel. This person wants to know how you do it. How do you make this shit happen? But that's what the Queen of Wands does. She makes shit happen. They want to know how you present so well how do you get along with people so well how do you you know have all of these different things going on have your hands in different things and still maintain and still keep a nice balance over your life because they see that you're working hard and they're trying to figure out how you're doing this shit you are magnificent to this person i feel I also feel like this person wants a relationship with you. They feel like they could be happy with you. They know they would have to compromise and they know that they would have to put you as a priority. They feel like they're, they would need to take care of you because you take care of everybody else. This person wants to care for you. Hmm. Knight of Cups. This person definitely wants to offer their love for you, to you. They want to swoon you. They want to take you out. They want to cook for you. This person wants to date you. They want to make an offer to you. This could definitely be an offer of um, marriage for some of you, but definitely um, just they want to be with you. This person really has some deep feelings for you. I feel like they kind of look at you. Um, they, they're putting you on a pedestal, though. That's the only thing with the Knight of Cups energy. They're putting you on a pedestal. They feel like they could have it all with you. Hmm. King of Wands. Now we have the King of Wands, could definitely be a um, Aries Leo individual that is, um, <laughs> that is in pursuit of you, that puts you guys up on this pedestal. You are their star. This person feels like they would be... Um, it would be beneficial for them to be with you. This is a leader. A happy person. I feel like this person, even if they're older, they come across as like this young soul. Because again, they are in awe of you guys here. They are 
kind of moody, but they still have very deep feelings for you. I just feel like with the Knight of Cups energy that they have this um, these high expectations and they're not really thinking of things realistically you know that they there could definitely be lows if you guys were together not it's not gonna always be high is a thing it's the only thing that really concerns me about them because they are um, I feel like there's a level of infatuation here with you guys okay let's see ace of cups fat infatuation mm-hmm this person too, um, I, I'm feeling older, but I'm also feeling a level of immaturity. I feel like um, being with you would make them happy. I don't know if you are, um, I don't even know if you know that this person feels this way about you as a thing. Because they have some very strong, deep feelings for you guys. But I don't know if you know this. I'm feeling like, you know, right now that it's one-sided. Because I see you guys kind of doing your own freaking thing. You're busy. You're just minding your own business. You may know of this person. But you may not know to the extent that they have, you know, these these deep feelings for you and really are um, wanting to be with you. I don't know if you know the depth of it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you know the depth of it. This person feels like um, maybe you will not accept their love. They're fearful <clears throat> that if they offer their love to you that you may reject them they do not want to be hurt they feel like you guys are very emotionally stable um, almost to the point of being bored emotionally though okay they feel like you have all these other things going on in your life to kind of distract you from um, an emotional connection. So it's almost like they feel like you may be a little disconnected from them emotionally or disconnected emotionally um, in general. It's not stopping them, though, from feeling the way that they feel. Okay, guys? So that is what I have for you guys. And um, again, Cancer... Um, Aries, Leo, I feel Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, let me just say that. And I feel Capricorn is here, Sagittarius is here. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.